guys, it's me, Jasmine, and Ocean. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that big red button to subscribe, and the little bell next to it to get notified whenever I post a new video. So, as you guys can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a DIY plus a giveaway update video. Before I start the DIY part of this video, I wanted to tell you guys the giveaway update. So as you can tell, I have Ocean who's going to be going away to one of you guys once I hit 1,100 subscribers. And when I put up the giveaway video, she was wearing an outfit that I got for Christmas. And I wasn't going to get you guys that outfit. But I also told you guys that once I figure out which outfit she would be going to you guys in, I would make a giveaway update and show you guys. So I finally decided on the outfit. She's going to be wearing this unicorn outfit that matches with the outfit that I used for making Ella my unicorn doll in my customization video. So it's just this adorable little unicorn dress with these purple shoes. And also when I made Ella, I asked you guys if you want me to teach you how to make a unicorn headband for the 18 inch dolls. And today I'm going to be making one, but in this case I'm going to be making one for Ocean to match her outfit. Big shout out to Seeking Sarah and AG Stop Motion Studios who requested this video. Before we start the video, I'm going to sit Ocean down. And now we're ready. Before we start the DIY, I'm going to show you guys the supplies you're going to need. So you're going to need a plain piece of printer paper. This is just white. You're going to need a protractor or just something to draw a circle with. You're going to need some pipe cleaners. I have white and silver here, but you can use whichever colors you want. Some cardstock. I just have this huge book and it has a bunch of glitter cardstock pages in it. I hope you guys can see it. But if you don't, I got this on clearance because I use it for many projects. But if you guys don't want to buy a big book like this, they have it at all different craft stores for around 20 cents. So you're, oops, you're going to need a ruler. It doesn't matter what type, you just need a ruler. A pair of scissors. I have these really cute tiny ones, so they're perfect for their project because it's for 18 inch dolls. You're going to need a pencil some clippers or yeah clippers and a hot glue gun or any type of glue and since I'm using a hot glue gun I'm going to be needing hot glue sticks you're going to need some cotton fiber like just a little bit you don't need that much and finally to decorate the unicorn headbands you'll need some flowers like these ribbon flowers you can get these at any craft stores like any craft spot in the store and i'm pretty much sure they have it everywhere because they have a bunch of them so now let's get into the diy so the first step is i'm going to take my printer paper i'm going to fold it in half the short way like so And I'm going to take my protractor and I'm going to set it on two inches. Or you're going to take a bowl or whatever that you can draw a circle with. And I'm just going to draw my circle. Like so. And now I am just going to cut that out. Okay, so now I have two circles cut out, and I'm going to take my ruler, line them up, it doesn't matter if your circle isn't perfect, because mine isn't perfect either, and you're going to take your ruler, put it around the half mark of your circle, take your pencil, and just draw right down the middle.
and I'm going to cut that out. And I'm going to end up with four half circles and that is going to make four unicorn horns. So I have four unicorn start bases here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take one of the halves of your circle, you're going to roll it up like an ice cream cone. And this is going to be your unicorn horn. And what you can do is now is the time when you can make it as small or as big as you want. I'm going to make mine like this. And then now is where you want to have some parent permission or parent supervision because you're going to use a hot glue or whatever glue. And hot glue can get very hot the hot glue gun. So you want to very carefully put a rim layer across the rim of the hot glue and very carefully push it on without burning yourself because hot glue can go through the paper. We'll be very careful right now. And you're going to let it dry until you have a little unicorn horn. So I finished all my unicorn horns and these are what they look like. I have four of them. And some are bigger, some are smaller, it doesn't really matter because all unicorns are different. So now I am going to take one of my unicorn horns, I'm going to take a pencil, and I'm going to draw on that spiral that all the unicorns have on their horns that just go upwards. So first I'm going to start on the bottom and draw a circle all the way around and then what I'm going to do is once I have my circle fully completed I'm going to start and then just go upwards while rotating it while drawing a line so that I create a little spiral like that so now i'm going to finish all four i'm going to finish the rest of them and camera and i'll be right back once i do so now i finished drawing the little spirals on all of my unicorn horns and now what i'm going to do is i am going to take my hot glue and go all the way around of what i just drew with it so I'm going to be very careful and I'm just going to go all the way around the unicorn horn all the way to the very tip top. So now I'm going to finish the rest of them and I'll be right back when I do. So I finished all four of my unicorn horns and these are what they look like. So now my favorite part of this entire thing is adding color to them. So you can paint them with whatever type of paint you want, acrylic paint, like puffy paint, it doesn't matter as long as it dries like smooth and nice. But I am going to ask my dad to spray paint them for me. So I'm going to go do that and see you guys once they are done. So the next step is I'm going to take a piece of cardstock. I'm just going to take a strip. Oops. And I chose pink. So now I'm going to take my scissors and cut some squares. Four squares so that my unicorn horns will fit on top of them. I 
Okay. So I have four squares. And then I'm going to take my carbon fiber and I'm going to stuff it into my unicorn horn. I'm going to grab some, put it into the unicorn horn, and, it, whoop, <laughs> and then use a pencil or something sharp or something pointy to push it all the way in into the horn and get it all fit in. And this is how you know if you'll need more, if you won't. Looks like I need some more. So I'm just going to place it in there. And just, okay, I think that's a little too much, but yes. Ooh, I'm trying to make it all the way full so that it doesn't bend. Okay, so that looks pretty much good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my squares that I just cut. I'm going to place some hot glue all over it. Make sure that the unicorn horn will stick on. And I'm going to just stick the unicorn horn right there and hold it in place for it to dry. And then while it dries, I'm going to do the rest of them. So now that it is completely glued on, I just have to cut all the way around it. And I did it for these three already. And this is what they're supposed to look like. So I'm going to finish this last one. like that and that's what the final one looks like. So I'm going to move the unicorn horns to the side for now. And now we're going to work start working on the ears. So I already have pre-cut a couple of the ears. I have these ones and then I have the inside of the ears right here. They're just a little tiny bit smaller. But for how to cut them out, I have like a little thing that I made for it. So what I did is I took a card, piece of cardstock and I folded it on itself so that the colorful side and the sparkly side is on the inside. And then on the white part, I drew this like ear shape. I didn't have a template for this. I just had like vision in my mind of how like to do it. And it is two inches, like the entire thing is two inches high. And it is one and a half from just here up. And for the inside of the ear, I also, I have the colorful, but on the back side where it is white, I drew a little smaller thing that would fit right inside of this one. So now I'm going to cut them out. Okay, so I just finished cutting them out. So now I'm going to turn the pink ones inside out. And I'm going to glue them together. So I'm going to take a dab of hot glue right here. And pinch the two, thing, two together. So. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around to the top and back down or just around on the other side as well. And stick that together. Hold it down so that it sticks. Hot glue is kind of on the sides. That's not good. So, and then I'm going to let that dry. 
and do the same thing for the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dot. Go up. And then up on the other side as well. And then just glue this down. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, so then I have two ears, and then I'm going to take the other two and put my inside of them, and I'm just going to place it, oh wait, the sun batch is better with this one, place it right there, they don't fit. <laughs> so they don't fit, so I'm going to cut a little bit more off of them. Sure that the thinness is good. Yep, and now I just have to cut off of the length. And now that fits so much better. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other one as well. Okay, so just like that, so that looks so much better and now I am just going to glue them on so that they stay there because our unicorn doesn't want the side of its ear to fall off. I'm going to let that dry. Do the other ear. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that to dry while I work on the other one. So this is what the ear looks like, and this little like stem thing that I have right here, I don't know what it's called, but I'm just going to fold that up, upwards towards me. Just like that. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other ear. Like that. So I just finished all of the unicorn ears and these are what they look like. So I'm going to move them to the side now so we can start working on the actual headband. Okay, so for the headband, you're going to need to take your pipe cleaners, Oops, move these to the side as well. I'm going to take two white pipe cleaners. And two silver pipe cleaners. And I'm going to just like twist them together separately so the white and silver will be separate strands of two of each. And now I'm going to do the white. Okay, so now I'm going to take the white and silver, and I'm going to twist them together. Okay, so now that those are twisted together, I'm going to take my ruler, 
and I'm going to measure it out to be seven and a half inches long. So, two, three, and a half. And I'm going to take my clippers and cut it down. like so and then I'm going to form this into a headband shape and then make sure that it will fit on the doll's head like that so now I am going to make three more and I'll be right back. I finished all four of my headbands and these are what they look like. So now I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to glue the unicorn horn right in the center. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and make sure where the middle is. Put a lot of glue right there to make sure that the unicorn horn will stay. And then I am just going to stick the unicorn horn right on. Hold it there until it dries. So now we're going to move on to putting the ears on the unicorn headband. I already finished three of them, but I'm going to show you how to do them. And these are what the final product looks like if you put the ears on. They're really cute. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the ears that we previously made and the unicorn headband that we just glued the horn onto. And you're going to make sure that the line that ends the entire cone shape is in the back. You're going to take one of your ears Add a dot of hot glue to the flap that we folded in and you're going to evenly space it out around a quarter inch away from the unicorn horn so that it doesn't touch. You want to make sure that it doesn't touch so it, it looks so much better. And we're going to hold that until it dries because if, if you don't hold it down then it's going to fall off. So we're just going to let that dry. Okay, so that's the first ear done. Now we're going to do the second one. Again, you're going to take the ear, place a dollop of glue right there, and put it around a quarter inch away from the ear, and from the horn, not the ear, because we're putting the ears on right now. What am I talking about? Okay, and then you're going to let that to dry on the headband until it completely dries. Then you can adjust how you want, how much forward or backward you want the ears to be. And once it is completely cool, you can try it on the doll, but you don't want to do it when it's still hot, because then the hot glue might get stuck in the hair and then it's going to be hard to take it out. So mine is almost done cooling, so I can put it on ocean. Okay, so when it's around room temperature and it's not sticky anymore, then it's perfectly fine to put it on the doll. And ta-da! That's what it looks like on your doll. So now for the fun part, it's time to decorate the unicorn headbands. So I'm going to take my flowers and I'm going to take the headband that I'm going to match it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some flowers and I think I'm going to go with these little purple ones, some of them, and let's see here. I like these a lot. They're really pretty. So I might do these. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now I need a pair of pink flowers. Ooh, these are super pretty. I like these colors because they have like little rhinestones in the middle. And then, let's see. I think I might do these like roses. They're kind of like cream color, so I think I'm going to do that. And then, finally, I'm going to go with these white ones. So I have my flowers picked. Now I am going to put them on the headbands. So I arranged all of the flowers that I want to use for the headband so it kind of matches her dress. But I didn't really use yellow because I have yellow in the unicorn's ears so it just will melt into the ear colors. And I also used pastel colors because I had a dark pink in the ears and I didn't want that to melt in either. So now I think it's time to glue them on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one side and I'm going to add a little glue press that on make sure it stays on then i'm going to take the next flower lay over it so that it doesn't cover up that gem because that gem is super pretty like that and I'm gonna add some hot glue. I'm trying to get so let that sit right there. I'm going to pick this really pretty blue color. I like this color a lot. And I'm just gonna place some hot glue right on that. Stick it right on. Finally, I have this dark pink one. I know I said I didn't do dark ones, but I liked this flower, so I just decided to choose it. And that is the flowers I'm going to do for that side. So I am going to do the other side now. So I'm going to start with this pink one. Stick that on. I'm going to go for this white flower. Try not get it to cover up the stone. This really pretty pink one. Ah. Stick that on. And finally, this purple one on this side. Try and make the lengths match up for the both of this side. So the last thing I have to put on is this little flower right here in the middle of the horn. So I'm going to add some glue. And stick it right in the middle and hold that down and let it dry and take off the strings of hot glue ta-da that is what the finished headband looks like so now I just need to let it cool for a little bit before I put it on Ocean's head Okay, so it's not as hot anymore, but I'm going to let it cool for a little bit more. So I finished all of the headbands, and these are what they look like. This is the one you'll be receiving with Ocean if you win her, and it's a 
pink and yellow eared one and it has all of these beautiful flowers on it and this is what it looks like on her it's so cute and I have three extra ones I have this one which is a purple and yellow eared one with also a lot of pretty flowers they all have amazing flower colors I have this one with a blue and purple eared one and then finally I made this kind of like set, like hair set I guess. And this one is going to be Ella's. So I made this one for her. It is a pink and blue eared one and it has like a cute little unicorn in the middle. I love this headband so much. It's so cute. Then to go with it, she can wear these separately. I have these little clips. It has like a flower and then a unicorn. And I have a pink, oh, yes, I have a pink and a purple one of that as well. Me and Ocean had a lot of fun making this video for you guys and hoped you like it. We want you guys to comment down below, would you try this DIY at home and how you liked it. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Also, enter the giveaway to win me in the description down below. We love you guys. Bye!